Kitchen Showcase, this Tuesday on Price Drop TV. There you go, a rather elongated look at uh, what the world of Price Drop TV is about and also uh, some of the events that are going on. Kitchen Showcase this Sunday between 4.30 and 6.30 on this channel. If the phone lines work, we're having a bit of trouble with the phone lines at the moment. So if you're wanting to buy from us at the moment, nothing I can do for you, I'm afraid, except sit here and babble inanely, which is what I'm good at. Uh, we do hopefully have Photoshop coming up for you a little bit later on. Now it's going to be difficult to put times on things, but if you are after a camera, I've got one for virtually any member of the family, and I'll tell you why. We've got, well, there's the Vivitar. Uh, the Vivitar camera is probably, I would say, for sister or brother. It's 7.1 megapixels, and when digital cameras first came out, we started doing them at price drop TV six seven years ago when they really started coming into the into uh, the public domain and uh, we were selling two and three megapixel and we were saying oh look at the quality there look at the 7.1 megapixel with that Vivitar camera it's superb that's coming up hopefully a little bit later on um, one for the kids as well you've heard the name Crayola you've heard you know, of course you have the wax crayons and the art sets they've actually come up with something additional to make your kids artistic in the in the field of photography and even video this little little tiny thing it's wonderful with a pop-out LCD screen it is a Crayola video camera it comes complete with software so not only can they shoot the video they can also then upload it to the PC's hard drive edit it add effects and you might think how can my kid do that believe me they can <laughs> kids know much more about this sort of thing than we do and if, it, if your kid is a beginner on the computer anyway, very easy to use. So there we are, the video camera for the kids. If it's a video camera, a compact uh, video camcorder that you want uh, to maybe take on holiday or what have you, then what about this from Maxim? This digital video camera, not only is it a video camera, but it also takes movies, uh, I beg your pardon, pictures, stills as well. So there's that, a quite superb bit of kit. But the absolute piece de resistance, if you are the sort of person who takes your photography seriously and you're thinking, well, yeah, they're all right, but I want something really tip-top, have a look at this. High definition, real, true, high definition, up to 12.1 megapixels, the Sony Cybershot. That is a dream of a machine. I've been playing with it and loading it up throughout the day. It is tremendous. And if you are after a great camera, I've got seven of those in a price drop that hopefully will take place a little bit later on. How are we doing? Any signs of any, any life on the phone lines at the moment? Getting a thumbs down at the moment. We do have some sort of gremlins in the works. If you phone our usual phone number, you can't buy anything. You won't even get through, I don't think. Don't even try, because you will be charged if you do call now. I was talking, wasn't I, about the wash balls. Uh, they are coming up a little bit later, and I did say, I'd give you an indication of how they work, because, again, I did say earlier on that it's hard making such what, on the surface, sounds, if you haven't seen, seen them before, making what sounds like such an outlandish claim that you can save hundreds of pounds on detergent over many years... It is a crazy thing to say, but you get 150 washes from each preloaded ball. You've then got the refills for each ball, a total of 900 washes. 900, uh, 900 times you use your washing machine over how long? Five, six, seven, eight, nine years? Well, there you go. Think of the detergent you'd use in that sort of time. One low price will get you 900 washes. You've got the stain sticks too. And not only that, I did say, well, how do they work? How can I show you, in even the smallest way, with having no washing machine in here, how they work? Well, here I have a container containing some of the pellets from inside uh, one of the wash balls. And if I just... I've been told that this is not completely waterproof. So I'm taking, this, I'm taking my life into my own hands here. There's a lot of electric around here too. Oh, heck. Right, okay, well, I'm going to shake it a little bit. I'm going to shake it a little bit. And you can see, look at that. Look how they foam up. The balls have, well, they've barely dissolved at all. 
And that's because you've got so much life. 150 washes per ball. And there you go, a little bit has come out. But I can smell the lavender. I can smell the lavender. Yeah. Smell my hand. Smell my hand. I can't believe I'm saying this, but your hand smells nice. My hand? What? <laughs> what does my hand normally smell of? I don't know. I've never smelled it before. Just didn't expect it to smell nice. That smells lovely. What did actually. you expect my hand to smell you know what? of? That smells really nice. I like that. Lovely. Um, well, well, there we are. That, that, it is the wash balls, the, mm. the, the, the lavender wash balls, hopefully coming up later. Yep. We are having a bit of trouble with the phone Can lines, but are we worried? You've got a lovely handbag This there. is a leather handbag, a real leather handbag. It's an Italian designer as well, Alessandra Ferreira, and this is going to be coming up for you a little bit later on as well, after half past nine. Uh, so don't forget about that. That's still on the way, hopefully, if we manage to fix things. Fingers crossed. Indeed, indeed. Uh, that, that nail varnish really is... That's nice, isn't it? No. I only got it um, yet. Oi! What? No, I'm good. Um, Michelle Livings is standing by. Michelle Livings uh, has some information live on videotape about uh, some of the stuff that you can get here at Price Drop TV. What's that? Something about a home theatre? No, really. Home theatre? Cool. Allow yourself to be seduced by design and surrounded by sound. Hi. Hi. Uh, uh, oh, are you there? Are uh, um, Michelle there? Telling you all about that Philips DVD home theatre system coming up approximately 10:45. Maybe very approximately the way things yeah. are going. But uh, Mark Rise will be with you from 10. He'll either be bringing you lots of stuff to buy, or he'll be filling like what I like am this. now. <laughs> Not with super putty though, which we hope to be bringing you a little bit later yeah, on. Yeah, I want. I want that. To, I hope you can get your hands on that because it's really good. It's amazing stuff because yeah. it is. It's like plasticine to start with yeah. in its consistency. Like clay. But then you mix it together. You get the white and the blue compound. And it's like mix super, it together. super glue. And, you, and you've, got a, you've got about a minute or two to mould it into place to, to repair uh, uh, cracks in things, even in flooring or in tiles. And uh, 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 it's exothermic, which I love that word. Exo. Exothermic. Big word. Exothermic, everybody. Exothermic. Which, uh, Jules will tell you what it means. Basically, it's something to do with it giving off heat, isn't it? And that it? causes a reaction, and that's how it sticks. I have exothermic <laughs> pants, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, this is stuff that we hope will be coming up later. Yep. We've still got phone line I problems, hope. but we hope we hope will be coming up. Tell me about that. Tell me about that. Tell yeah, them about that. Well, it's our leather handbag. Now, I did say a minute ago that it was Alessandra Ferreira. My apologies. It's actually Rosa Benini, ah. but it is still a leather handbag. It's a genuine designer, Italian designer handbag. I love it. Now, it's in the brown. Uh, not sure if you can quite see whether it's brown or black, but it is in the brown, and I love it because it's a great autumn colour uh, for the sort of autumn winter season that's coming. A uh, really lovely handbag there, and you've got lots of different compartments, which makes it really good for work because you can store things and sort of get them out a lot easier. So that's coming up, and we get loads of emails from our ladies that watch our lovely viewers. Uh, sending in emails about how amazing our prices are on leather handbags, and they really, really are. I went on the high street the other day, and the cheapest I could find a leather handbag was uh, 50 quid. Amazing. <laughs> it is amazing. You and the props tonight, Greg. I was, I was having my uh, impression of Ermintrude from the Magic Roundabout. Oh, you're too I young. do remember oh, no, that. You, do now, you're probably that. talking about the film that they made years oh, later. Yeah. Not the original thing from oh, 1967, right. no, narrated don't... by Emma Thompson's even... dad. Oh, who? Emma Thompson? Is it from Harry Potter? What? Who's Emma Thompson? Emma Thompson. She was Nanny McPhee and Kenneth Branagh's other half for a while. Sorry I think. That. Do you know what we should do, Greg? We what should we do? get if there's anyone still watching, which I hope there. Of course is. there is. There's um, thousands. <laughs> you should email us and tell us what we should do in these times when we're filling. Should yeah. we do that? Best buys at price-drop.tv. Yeah. Email us now. There's the email address. Send us your ideas. Yeah. Anything you want to do with you want us to do within reason to keep you entertained <laughs> while the phone lines are down. <laughs> Let us know. Yeah. We're bloody asking for it here, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Let us know Sing and... A song. What? Sing a song. Sing a song. Come, because of copyright infringement problems, Mark. Uh, Mark Rice coming oh. a little bit later. <laughs> Dole! Oh. Uh, uh, best buys. Best buys at price-drop.tv. Yep. Send us an email, because we're getting stuck for things to say. Yeah, we uh, are. So. <laughs> <laughs> Nivea creams coming up a little bit later. There they are. They're uh, very good, these are. So I actually use the Nivea creams myself. Uh, and this particular brand, which is the d &H, is actually one of the newer Nivea products out there. I'm yet to try it, but I actually use the other Nivea products. Uh, and this is actually, the results shown on the box here are said to improve skin vitality. They're also said to make skin noticeably firmer and smoother 
and uh, reduce the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines. Now, I think all of those things combined, all together in combined one. Combined all together in one. Combined, combined to all together in one. The perfect face cream, and especially from a great brand like Nivea. And remember, we're going to beat the high street too. We found it. What cat? What prices did we find it for? Super drug. We found the day cream. I think it was for fifteen pounds seventy-one. You guess. No one's helping you. Um, and then we actually, yeah, fifteen pounds seventy-one. And then at Boots, twelve seventy-one. And the same for the night cream. We found that for twelve pounds seventy-one at Boots. We're going to beat the price of that. Yeah, because you're going to get both. Can you're going to get, get both. both. One for day, one for night. Brilliant. We're going to beat the high street. There's the high street. This is us. That's what that we're going to do. That hit my finger. Did it really? No. I'm, tr I'm trying <laughs> to chip off your Scared awful you. nail varnish. It's not. Awful. It is awful. Why nail awful? varnish. Look at that for nail varnish. Oh, I'm getting told by the girls varnish. in the gallery that's not awful. I love it. It's on my toes as well. Do you want to see my toes? No. Sure. Yeah. Woohoo. Yeah. What made you buy that nice. colour nail varnish? I think it's hot. It actually matched my top that I wore today. That's why I bought it. Right. Yeah. You didn't think about work, did you? So um, fine. Not really. It's no. always second thought for me. Yeah, oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, so working with me isn't a great pleasure and a joy. <laughs> it is. Spat then. I know like you that. did. You're spreading yeah. all your germs. Oh, you, and yeah. your, you and your germs. I'm not well. You wouldn't think it, but I'm not well. I've um, got grapes, mother. Why is it that people give you grapes when you're not well? You got grapes. I've got grapes. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you're not well. <laughs> Preparation H. Why is it that people always give you grapes? I've no idea. There's something that everyone does. It, it, it is something. I tell you what. I've talk, talking of the sort of thing, the way I was taking that. So a friend of mine the other day yeah. and I said how are you and he said oh Greg he said I've got these terrible piles <laughs> I said is that why you're sat on a beanbag he said I'm not sat on a beanbag what was it what oh oh Jules hang on a minute just a minute right okay there's his bottom right and there's his piles right uh, why are you sat on a beanbag I've got the worst piles ever. I'm not sat on a beanbag. Uh, They're the. Uh, can I check? Description of piles by Craig. <laughs> Says it all. Thank uh, you for that explanation. You've enlightened me to piles. Can I just say that this is not the Discovery Channel. This is Price Drop TV. We are not able to bring you any products at the moment because the phone lines are down. Yeah. Um, I've also got. If you've got a, have you got a Wii at home? Have you got a Wii Games console? My brother does. Well, it's very good. Might want to get this. Uh, we've got the uh, the superb game, one of the top sellers, Splinter Splinter Cell Double Agent. I've also got the gun attachment and the uh, joystick Do attachment you know what? for we've the. Got, we've got price check for that too. We're going to beat the high street on that one as well. Don't we? You certainly me. are. Yes. So all that coming up right now. What was that? I didn't hear a word of that. What was that? Carmel's going to bring you a vanity unit now. Carmel's going to show you a, va a vanity unit now that, <laughs> with any luck, yeah. is going to be coming up for you at around midnight. Let's I'm go and have an apple or something. I'm hungry, yeah. 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 Well, someone's got to do it. Um, this is Price Rob TV. We are live and probably more live than at any other time in my broadcasting career. I am Greg Scott, and it is down to me to attempt to keep you entertained the best I can until the phone lines come up and uh, are playing with us once again. Uh, that vanity set that's just been shown to you by the rather delightful on occasions, Michelle Livings. Oh, is it Carmel? Oh, is it Carmel? Oh, I wasn't listening. Uh, Carmel. Ah, uh, there. She's lovely as well. Uh, yeah, she's lovely. Uh, yeah, uh, that's coming up hopefully at about 12.45. The idea is that Mark will, as usual, come on at 10 o'clock uh, and take you through until 1.30. Uh, the phone lines might indeed be down for all that time as well. And if they are, then it'll be probably Mark's last appearance on this channel by his choice. He'll be having serious words with his agent and moving on to passages new. Um, so, what can I do for you? We've had some emails in. We said to you a few moments ago, uh, if there's anything you'd like me to do, or, or Jules and I to do, in the time that we, we, we can't bring you any products, uh, if there's anything you want us to do, email us, let us know, uh, bestbuys at price-drop.tv. If I take a step to my left, uh, there is the email address. And into this space now walks the lovely Julianne. Yes, that's my name. Julie Hyphenan. Julie Hyphenan, double barrel, you know. Yeah, oh. And where are you from originally? Brighton. Brighton, everybody. <laughs> Brighton, double barreled name. I'm not worthy. <laughs> emails. Yeah, we've got quite a few emails actually, so thanks for these. Uh, let's say a big hello 
to uh, Rob and Holes, first of all. Hello, uh, Rob and Holes. Who, ha, Rob, your email when you sent it to us, your name was something really strong. Am I allowed to say that? No, I wouldn't have No, so. I wasn't. But we've got uh, some nice creams name. available for you later. <laughs> uh, yeah, and also uh, they think we should hop on one foot while shouting, I like eggs. I'd, I would now. Normally, I'd do anything for you viewers. <laughs> I would, but in the state I'm in today, snot would come out of uh, nose, oh. and it's, you know, it's not good. You can no, do it. I'll do it in a minute. Yeah. No, do uh, now. Then we go. They can't get waiting. I like eggs. I like eggs. Woo! I like eggs. That was a message from the egg marketing board. Uh, right, Actually, okay. I bought eggs yesterday because I'm going to have uh, a fried egg on toast for breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> Just so you know. That has to be the worst. In fact, can we cancel Cliff Richard on Piers Morgan's show over the weekend? Get her on. She's got some more brilliant stories like that. You bought some eggs so you could have eggs. Eggs on toast tomorrow. Did you buy the bread? I do. Have story. you got a toaster? You know what I got though? I was really excited about this. Excited. A, a half loaf of bread. But, yeah. The, but, it was <laughs> but it was a full size loaf. Because normally, when you normally when you buy small loaves of bread, the the, the slices are small. But yeah. this is normal size, normal size. <laughs> What's your boyfriend called? Wayne. Wayne, Can have a close up, please. Camera two, Can have a close up, please. I need to talk to Wayne. How long have you been going out? Three and a half years. Three and a half. Wayne, Wayne, there's a well. -known... He likes his eggs in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like yours? I like man with a kiss. I like advert. Preferably not fertilised. <laughs> ah, that was the line, wasn't it? That's the line you were waiting for and expecting, and you got it. Um, Wayne, mate. Uh, there is a phrase in the English language. It's probably appeared on Catch Frears with Roy Walker a few times. There's plenty more fish in the sea. Uh, I don't want to be disrespectful here to Jules, not at all. But Wayne, man to man, I've got to explain to you something here. There are fish and there are fish. There are little tiddlers and there are sharks. And there are koi carp. I'm afraid it's his birthday tomorrow, so I'm you ain't leaving I'm finished. I'm <laughs> finished. You've got yourself a you right haddock here, haven't you, mate? You've got yourself a right haddock here. It's not even been filleted. It's not even been, been skinned and boned. Well, probably not skinned. Uh, but, but Wayne, come on, mate. I think you know what I'm saying. Sorry, you were saying. I was talking to Wayne. Hi, Wayne. <laughs> Hi Wayne, wasn't that a painting by Constable? <laughs> Please don't leave me. Uh, I, what, just me? Like, I just like. No, I'm jo <laughs> no, she's a lovely lass. I am, of course, joking. <laughs> this is my weird uh, humour. Um, you've got to trust me. It's fine. Uh, it, it, it's fine. Uh, she says it's fine. There's some DIY tools over there, including a claw hammer. <laughs> We've also got another yes. Rob. But this time, Rob and Chris Williams, who are watching us from Portsmouth, and they said, Greggles, can you please say hello? What's it worth? An email. Yeah. Rob and Chris Williams, hello. Hang on, hang on, press, no, they didn't press record. They didn't press record. Hang on a minute. Press record. Hello, Rob and Chris Williams. You might as well do it too. Hello, Rob and Chris Williams from Portsmouth. You've got See that way? She's chatting up other men. Rob Williams <laughs> now. Robbie Williams! Robbie Williams! Robbie Williams. Oh. Well, hopefully we're entertaining you while the phone lines oh. are still down. Oh. Four years away, I come back, second weekend back. I know. Phone lines are down. Now, we've got more ideas for what we should do to fill our time. Ben yep. in Cumbria, Cumbria, yep. Cumbria. says, uh, we think you should sell us two, two minutes of just jokes. Your jokes. Jokes? Jokes from Greg. Oh, I know. G give, me, give me a category of joke. That uh, who, me? Yeah, give me a category and Eggs. I'll do a joke. Eggs? <laughs> I can't do jokes. You, you do the best jokes, but how can I top your egg story? <laughs> just to get, if you've just tuned on in the last minute, you'll love this. Uh, uh. <laughs> Jules <laughs> went to the shop uh, the other day and uh, she saw some eggs and she said uh, it, to, in, to herself, there wasn't anyone with you, was there? No, no, no this, this is crucial to the story. She, she, she said in her, her own mind, in her head, I'd like some eggs because uh, I'd like them for brec breakfast, breakfast the next morning. So what she did in the shop, uh, she, she went to the shopkeeper, uh, uh, handed over some uh, money, 
money. Money. Uh, for the eggs, bought the eggs, carried them home, and uh, the next morning, as planned, she had one for her breakfast. <laughs> Someone write that one down for me, please. You're going to use that in my next live show. Oh. That's, that's, that's amazing. Uh, we've also got uh. Nick Dean, who wrote in. Oh, and good. He actually agrees with Mark Riser's idea that we should do a karaoke slash sing-along well, uh, to fill our time. Well, you see, the thing is, you know, strict... I hate using that word at this time of night on a Friday. <laughs> uh, strictly, you're not allowed to, to sing songs, but I think you are allowed to sing up to 30 seconds without oh, really? getting in trouble. Okay. So, uh, we need some sort of song. What, what sort of genre do you think uh, a price drop viewer like that person now would like? What, what do you think? I think something... I think something I know. Something I know. Well, you are, you're only young, you only know modern stuff, like, oh. come on, you're well, going to hit me in the face, then. I'm not a violent man, <laughs> but I'm going to turn that way if we don't sort the phone lines out soon. you who slapped bang the camera earlier. I didn't slap bang, slap bang slap the camera. Bang. Slap um, no. What should we sing? Uh, well, that's what I'm asking you. Is there a song about eggs? Motown. <laughs> How Motown. do you like your eggs in the morning? I like man with a kiss. Oh, you, you, are you trained? No. No? <laughs> really uh, well, not. not in singing, clearly. <gasps> no. Boiled um, or fried, I'm yeah. satisfied. Just proving I'm poorly. You boiled or fried, you're that... satisfied. Wayne, actually, no, if that's what satisfies her, I'd keep her. Is uh, that the tissue I gave you earlier? It is, actually, oh, and it is getting serious. heavier. Yeah, um, if you have just tuned in, this is not some random channel that has just sprung up overnight. Uh, this is Price Drop TV for the, last, it or not. for the last 25, 30 minutes. Uh, we've not been able to bring you any superb prices. Let's keep to the corporate slant. Um, any superb prices on some wonderful stuff. Um, we are hoping, we are hoping that we are going to have a chance to bring you some uh, great stuff a little bit later on. But uh, to give you a further preview of what is coming up later on with Mark Rise, if, if, if. Uh, we can get all this mm -hmm. sorted out, whatever's going on. Uh, here's Michelle Livings. Should we go play Pictionary? Uh, uh, sorry? Let's play Pictionary. I'm talking. Oh. Here's <laughs> Michelle Livings uh, with another item that you can hopefully purchase later. Pictionary. 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 We're Perfectly play. peeled potatoes in less than four minutes. Well, we, uh, we are still here in some capacity or another. Jules uh, is uh, collating some of the emails that you're sending in. Thank you very much indeed for them. Best buys, all one word, even though it's not, but it is. Uh, best buys at price-drop.tv. There's the email address if you want to get in touch. Uh, the reason we're asking you for your emails and whatever is that at the moment we can't bring you anything uh, to buy because our complete phone system has gone kaput. Uh, it, it's gone down, it's sunk completely, it's fallen off the twig, uh, kicked the bucket, all that sort of thing. Uh, as soon as we can get off and running as far as buying stuff is concerned, again, then we will. But in the meantime, it's left to me to uh, sort of fill the void. Uh, once again, I was instructed that I can't mention my Twitter, Greggles1969. I can't even mention my website, uh, www.gregscott.tv. Can you get a bit closer on there? Thank you. Uh, can't even mention that, which is a bit of a pity. Uh, but uh, no, Jules has uh, Jules has got some uh, emails that have come flooded in. Thank you for these. It's nice to have a bit of one-to-one, -one, a bit of interactivity, even though that's not strictly uh, what what we're here for. <laughs> Lovely. Um, Lovely. Uh, you've been you've been busy at work printing off these emails. Yes, I have. Now we've got lots of your emails, so thanks for these. Thank uh, you. I'm actually. Do you know what? I'm actually in agreement with uh, Tony and Paula, who emailed us saying. Take your time in repairing the phone lines because they are loving it. I, I'm loving it too. I'm having much more fun than normal. Well, uh, yes, it's whilst it may be fun, it's a shopping <laughs> channel. And we're not to be selling things. It's funny though. Um, it's funny. Right, should we go with a. Uh, oh, actually, quickly, Tracy emailed us. She Hello, said, Tracy. In that video where we had the potato peeler, yes. she said there were some giant apples. She would like to know whether the woman was just really small or whether the apples were giant. The uh, I am a bit of both actually. The woman in question was at uh, two foot nine, uh, <laughs> a twin sister of Vern Troyer. Uh, the apples <laughs> were in fact. Uh, uh, I like Vern Troy. Do you like Vern yeah, Troyer? Yeah. He really is tiny, isn't he? He's really isn't he? cute though. I think he's two foot nine, isn't he? About that, yeah. Hey, yeah, and his his voice is sort of. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's it like it sounds like a door opening in a horror movie. Yeah, something Go like on, that. Do, do the noise. <laughs> yeah, he says yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What, are you talking to me in there? What? Yeah. What? Just smile or something. Am I really? Ah. On this screen? 
How? Oh, okay. How exciting. Uh, well, this, this is exciting. Before, this... We, before we say that, though, yes? before we tell you... Uh, <laughs> well, we, we're going to get on their really. word, but... Uh, where is it? Nick Dean emailed us saying, by the way, we are much more entertaining than the lot on Bid TV <laughs> at filling time. Nick Dean thinks we're more entertaining than Bid TV at filling time. <laughs> and so on that note, what are we going to do in a minute? Chat to Paul Beck, apparently. Because he needs all the help, but entertaining. You know, needs a bit of Greg love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very fond of him and everything, but I'll draw the line. We, uh, uh, have we got time in between then, so I can read up more emails? Yeah, uh, apparently, apparently, just to fill uh, you in at home, viewer, uh, what we're going to do in a moment, we're going to have, uh, this is the first as far as I'm aware, Me too. we're going to link up with our sister channel, Bid TV, <laughs> who are in the same up to their neck in it as, as we are, because uh, their phone system has gone down as well, so as our other sister channel, uh, well, the second cousin channel, uh, Speed Auction TV. <laughs> um, so we're hoping to be speaking live to Paul Beck. Is Kiri in there with you? Uh, yes, she is. Uh, Paul and Kiri, we hope to be doing a two-way link-up. This Woo! is almost like the Eurovision Song this Contest. This is so exciting. It's oh. almost, I've, I've always wanted to be in a Terry Wogan Eurovision-type position, yeah. and this, I think, is the closest that I will ever come to. Oh, me too. I'm and actually, yeah. that brings me on to this email. Alan, who's in Kings Lynn, yes. emailed in and said, if you could host any show, what would it be? You said Eurovision. Well, then. not this one right here. Now. <laughs> um, well, I'll throw it to you. I'll have a thing. What me, would you like uh, to I would love to do Blue Peter. Would you? You're not I'd scared of heights or anything? I am scared of heights, or but elephant I, like dung. A, I like a challenge. I like, I like to do silly things. As yeah. you can probably tell. Yeah. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm, 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 I'm just being told. You didn't tell us yours. Uh, oh, I'll think of something in a moment. All right. Uh, Euro trash. Ah. <laughs> I'll be Am there. I walking with you? Good. Oh, I'll stay centre. I'll be told to stay centre. Okay. We're, we're, we're going to link with, with Big TV. With, I can hear with, with Paul Beck. Well, he's an old-timer, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, so it's just on my shoulder, like a little parrot. Hello! Well, thank you as well, old-timer. <laughs> Blow me, don't you think I'm Bruce Forsyth or something? <laughs> just cause... He's saying Bruce Forsyth's his mate. They're, they're the same age, that's what he's saying. <laughs> How rude! <laughs> How dare Wait, you! Which way are they? That way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 that's right. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> How are, thing, how are things with you? What? If you, you can rub my ball patch if you want. <laughs> Paul, you know as well as I do that that is not a ball patch. That is a solar panel for a love machine. <laughs> Can't this hear a damn this, word he's saying. This just well, looks I'm weird saying, on Price it? Shop, though, doesn't it? I would never say goodbye. His solar panel's drawing in too much light. <laughs> 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 uh, see you later, Craig. See you later, Jules. Uh, right. In all seriousness, uh, oh, it is our here. birthday tomorrow, and clearly <sighs> we need some... That was fun, wasn't it? Uh, but have we got off there? Nine years <laughs> TV, uh, we are... <laughs> 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 Sorry, that uh, you can tell that wasn't planned. Have we gone off bid? <laughs> are, we, are we back? So, hang on, someone talk to me. Are we still on Price Drop TV? <laughs> And we're not on Bid TV anymore, but we are still on our channel, <laughs> the channel of choice. What the? Yeah, what? Well, what is happening? What? <laughs> All right, okay, we're going to hand you to something else. I'll read I'll more emails later. Uh, we'll have more emails later. Shopping Don't go anywhere. We Warning. will be back. What you're about to see can help you get into the best shape of your life. You might have been mistaken seeing all those uh, muscly bodies thinking it was me who's been on the screen for the last 10 or 15 minutes, but oh no! Uh, for those of you who are still with us, uh, this is Price Drop TV on Sky 645, on Freeview uh, 43, on, uh, on Virgin uh, uh, as well. Um, We've got problems. We've got problems where we cannot open the phone lines. Our sister channels, Bid TV and Speed Auction TV, they've got exactly the same problem as well because we're all in the same building and something has uh, 
well, gone down. So, unfortunately, at the moment, you can't buy anything from us at our usual great prices. But, should we really get back on air, we do have some great stuff lined up for you. Uh, no, not, le not least, the Nivea Visage Creams. There they are, the DNA Creams, the cell renewal for both day and night. You know Nivea, it's a great brand name. You know that those sort of things in the shops on the high street cost rather a lot of money. Here at Price Drop TV, you're going to get the day and the night for a superb price at some point. I hope. Uh, we've also got this coming up, this handbag, all leather, absolutely superb, very contemporary design, lots of different pockets and compartments, uh, if you are the sort of lady who likes all the different pockets and compartments within a handbag, on the outside, I mean, look at that as well, you've got the section there for your mobile phone, there we are, uh, it's all there for you, all genuine leather, that will be coming up a little bit later on as well. I hope. And if you do have a Wii game system for the Nintendo Wii, a superb game. It's Splinter Cell Double Agent. Uh, all involves uh, being you, being a double agent, uh, which involves gunfire. Oh, it's a bit naughty. Yeah, uh, but look at this. To go with the game, you've got the gun accessory, so you pop your uh, Wii remote into there and use it just like a gun and in addition to that you know when you're uh, playing should we say the more traditional video games you've got the little uh, console you've got the little handheld what's the what's the phrase I'm looking for joystick joypad uh, well this can help to transfer your standard Wii remote into such a gaming joy pad so there we are just three of the items that are coming up a little bit later on. We hope tonight on Price Drop TV, if you have tuned in and you're waiting to see all sorts of stuff, if you want to get all sorts of stuff from us at our usual great deals, uh, we can't do that for you at the moment because we do have some technical troubles. Uh, we will return you to Screen Shop shortly, so if you're interested in the Ab Plus Pro, if you want washboard abs, then uh, details about how you can get a great bit of kit that can help you achieve those ends, we'll return to that in just a moment. Uh, these you can't buy from us later, so uh, let's just put these fellas down. Well, I say they're fellas. There's no evidence to indicate that they might be. Um, super putty. Hopefully, we'll get to get to bring you these later. Uh, I'm more excited about this than anything, if I'm absolutely honest for, with you, because this is amazing stuff, and I don't think stuff like this even existed the last time I was with you on Price Drop TV over four years ago. Maybe it did. Maybe I'm talking at an, a, absolute nonsense, in which case there's no change there. Uh, but super putty is great. If I just turn one of these round at the back... Uh, you can see uh, that th it comes in sort of two different compounds. You've got the white central core, in fact, here we are, the white central core molded with the blue outer. And when you bind it all together, it creates a compound that seals, it mends, it look, I mean, look at that there. It can hold up shelves. No need for drilling, no need for anything like that. You've broken your favourite cup. What do you do? Well... You meant to sand it down. This is just to show you the basis of what it does. That's a bit of a cack-handed fool using it there. Uh, what's she doing with that? Oh, here you are. You've got a leaky pipe. Oh, look at that leaky pipe. Boo, the leaky pipe. But what do you do? You get some super putty. You stick it on. You let it dry. It takes a few minutes. And then, look at that. It's even water resistant. No more leaky pipes for you, madam. Have you noticed in the last half hour, my cold's got a lot worse. I'm sounding like a, like a big snotty boy. Uh, no, I'll stop wobbling the tables, because we're on a close-up. Uh, there we are. You get nine tubs of the Super Putty. Uh, lots of it. Uh, three in each box. And all, they, all of those will be going in the one price drop, hopefully, a little bit later. The wash balls. The lavender wash balls. All of this uh, that I'm telling you about, we hope to be bringing you between now and... Uh, now at 9, th uh, 10.30, I beg your pardon, or even 10 o'clock. I'm just seeing, actually, there is a, ch a very strong possibility that we might be back with you shortly. Uh, I've seen that one of our sister channels has, al has uh, alleviated themselves of the technical problems. So, 
Hopefully there is a chance that we could be back in action shortly. Uh, if we are, then in the next half hour, I hope to bring to you the lavender wash balls. 900 washes. You've got the three wash balls all pre-loaded and ready to go with the pellets. And not only that, uh, you've got the refills too, totaling 900 washes. Now, I am being told, this is a little bit tentative, but I am being told that we can go with the super putty. Just before we start this officially, what I will say is that if you have stayed with us through all the melee and all the problems that we've had, uh, chances are that a lot of people will have gone away. And on that basis, what I would say to you is that this might be an opportunity to get the super putty at one of the lowest prices we've ever brought it to you at. And I really mean that. Uh, so if you're a bit of a DIY freak, I use that word very, very friend, in a very friendly way, uh, then this is for you. If, however, you know someone is a DIY buff, you need to get on the phone to them. Get them told, get them to put uh, Price Drop TV on, because this stuff can prove invaluable. It's got so many uses. You can use it around the house, the office, the garage. You can fix anything from tools to cups to floors to ceilings, leaks. And it's a super strong compound that supports weights of up to 150 kilos. Let's think about that for a moment. You fix up a shelf with this, 150 kilos? I think that's rather a lot, don't you? It is fast working. It's a fast drying formula. It dries very quickly indeed. It is safe. It's easy to use and you do not have to add any chemicals in order to get the use out of this. It is the super putty and there is the possibility, very strong possibility, that you're going to be able to get this. Um, okay, well we'll see how it goes. And, oh dear, my nose, is, my nose has gone horrible. Um, all right. So, uh, what I will say to you is I have got assurances that everything is up and running and normal and if you do dial in and press 1 the way that you should normally do, then everything should be okay. So the Super Putty, uh, three tubes per pack, nine tubes in total, it's tremendous stuff. I'm not going to, this is the only sample that we have here, so I'm not going to use any now, but I've told you lots about it. Uh, someone said earlier on to me that uh, someone who's bought some from Price Drop TV before sent us an email, Best Buys at price TV, and they had a, a chain. And one of the links in the chain, I don't know what they were using the chain for. If it was an MP, I don't want to know what they were using the chain for. Uh, but they, one of the chains, one of the links had broken. They got some super putty, they rolled it into the compound, and they made the link, they completed the link with this stuff. With this stuff! And it worked. It worked. It, it, it's so, so strong.